One of the first questions that you're going to ask, and one of the first things you're going to want to know when you find out you're pregnant is, when is the baby due and how far along are you? That's a big question. It seems like it should be fairly simple, but actually it's not all that intuitively obvious on how we figure out how far along you are and when your due date is. So let's talk a little about what we call dating a pregnancy. The first thing we want to know is when was the first day of your last period? Because technically we date a pregnancy starting from the first day of your last period. Even though we know you didn't really get pregnant then, you got pregnant about two weeks later. But just for the sake of convention, that's how we start the, the day zero. And so that's going to be a question that's going to be important for you to know. So if possible, look back on the calendar and try and figure out when was that last period. If you're, tr if you're still trying to get pregnant, it's important to keep what we call a menstrual calendar, basically just write on your calendar when your period started, so that when you do get pregnant, you can look back and have that information, because it is fairly important. So that's the first piece of information we have, and we look at first day of last menstrual period, and basically your due date is 40 weeks after that. Now people always object to this. What do you mean a pregnancy is 40 weeks? I thought a pregnancy is 9 months, and 9 times 4 is only 36, so how come I get 10 months of pregnancy instead of 9 months of pregnancy? Well, if you do the math, it actually doesn't work that way. Because remember, I told you, you get two weeks up front for free, basically, because we're counting from the first day of your period, not from conception. So that's two weeks right there. The other thing, if you think about it, n most months have more than 28 days, except for February, or if it's a leap year, uh, the months will all have more than 28 days. And so if you do the math over a nine-month period, that counts for the other two weeks. So even though we're counting 40 weeks, it's still really only nine months. So we basically count 40 weeks from the first day of your last menstrual period, but that's not necessarily accurate because that's assuming that your menstrual cycle is a perfect 28 days, and most women don't really have 28-day cycles. And so the other thing that we use is ultrasound. And so we'll compare your first ultrasound to, to your last menstrual period date. And we know that the earlier your ultrasound is, the more accurate it is for dating. And that's because there's less variation in the size of the baby uh, at any gestational age, the earlier that gestation, gestational age is. If you think about it, at term, some people have 5-pound babies, some people have 12-pound babies. Gee, I just heard in the news some lady had a 14-pound baby the other day. You don't want to be that lady, but anyway. So there's a lot of variation towards the end of pregnancy, but early in pregnancy there isn't. And so a very early ultrasound is pretty accurate as far as due date. The general rule of thumb is that an ultrasound in the first trimester or first sort of pregnancy is good plus or minus about 7 days. Second trimester, seven to, I'm sorry, 10 to 14 days, depending on when it's done. And in the third trimester, it can be off by as much as three weeks. So we'll never change your due date after the first ultrasound. But what we do is the very first time you have an ultrasound, we compare that to the due date from your last menstrual period, and we look and see how sure you are about that last period and how regular your menstrual pattern is. And based on that, we'll either use the date that's based from your last menstrual period or we'll use the date based from that first ultrasound. And that will be your due date. Now, the due date will never change. However, most likely, the baby won't be born on the due date. But that gives us sort of an estimation, and that's what we use for our sort of accounting purposes to time your tests and figure those kind of things out. Sometimes it gets confusing because maybe, you know, you had an ultrasound when you were seven weeks, and we have a really good due date. And now you're farther along in your pregnancy. Maybe you're 28 weeks along, and you have an ultrasound, and someone tells you, oh, based on this ultrasound, your due date is such and such. And it's really different from what you were used to. Well, that doesn't change your due date. All that tells us is something about how the baby's growing. Maybe this baby's a little bit bigger than average, or maybe it's a little bit smaller than average. But it really doesn't change your due date. So, to basically sum up, the first time you come in, we're going to guess the due date basically based on your last menstrual period. And then after your first ultrasound, we'll compare that to what the ultrasound predicts and pick a final due date for you. And that will be the due date that we'll use for the rest of your pregnancy.